What's up, Bay Area? I'm Jonathan Bloom with how to watch the Winter Olympics this Saturday and Sunday, the final two days of these Winter Games. It's the grand finale for figure skating, the pairs free skate, and the exhibition gala that follows. And after the short program, the two American duos are in sixth and seventh place. No matter the outcome, skater Ashley Kane Gribble knows she's a winner in one way. In spite of all the COVID rules, she gets to have her Olympic moment with one of her biggest fans. I feel extremely lucky because my dad is also our coach, and so he gets to be with us at the Olympic Games. He gets to be right there at the boards. Obviously, it like hurts my heart that my mom won't be able to be there because she's every part of this journey. And, but we know that she'll be cheering as loud as she can from Dallas. Of course, the pandemic was not as kind to Bay Area skater Vincent Joe. And who could forget this heartbreaking message right before his big moment? I have tested positive for COVID-19 and unfortunately I will have to withdraw. I've already lost count of the number of times I've cried today. Well, there's some good news. No medals to be won this time, but Vincent Joe says he will perform in the figure skating exhibition gala, where he'll skate to Harry Styles' song, Sign of the Times. And here's how to watch. The pair's free skate will start at three in the morning with the two American teams skating back to back around 4.49. You can watch it live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com or wait until 5.30 and watch it in primetime on NBC. Either way, the exhibition gala will start at 8 p.m. Alyssa Liu also performing in that, by the way, and that'll be carried live on NBC starting at 8.30. Now, outside in the cold, while that's happening, cross-country skiers will be getting ready for their longest race of these Olympics, and for the women, that's 30 kilometers, or about 18 miles. It might sound grueling, but the USA women's team has shown off some serious spirit during these games, from their colorful socks to their sparkly face paint. We told you all about how Jessie Diggins started the glitter trend, and she showed us how it's done. I've been doing glitter for a while, um, and I'm kind of like the team sparkle fairy. This is supposed to be fun. It's sports, right? So when I put the glitter on, it's, you know, you can't not smile. We're gonna give her some face paint. We always do a lightning bolt S. This is our USA. And then on the other side, I like to do three stars and glitter them up as well. <laughs> and here's how to watch. The women's 30 kilometer freestyle race starts at 10.30 p.m. And you can watch that live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. There are gold medal games in hockey and curling this weekend, and no, the United States is not in them, but you can watch them anyway, and here's how. The men's hockey game for the gold medal starts at 8.10 p.m. between Finland and the Russian Olympic Committee. You can see at least part of it live on NBC and the rest on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. The women's curling gold medal game is between Japan and Great Britain, and you can watch that live online starting at 5.05. Now to the bobsled, where we're nearing the dramatic conclusion for men's and women's events. The men are preparing for the third and fourth runs of the four-man bobsled. It's the heaviest thing on the sliding track at about 1,300 pounds once the team jumps on board. So how do you get into bobsledding? Well, it helps if you start out as a track star like Chris Horn. You sprinted roughly like 35 meters down the, uh, down the ice. I mean, the whole sport is just sprinting. You get five seconds, you're fighting for milliseconds, basically. And uh, sprinters, they, they understand that. So being behind a sled, it's really not much different just a little heavier. And here's how to watch the two bobsledding events. The final runs of the two-woman bobsled happen at four in the morning, and you can watch the replay when it kicks off NBC's primetime program at 5 p.m. The four-man bobsled starts at 5.30 p.m., and that'll be live on TV starting at six, with a little figure skating in the middle and the final run starting around 7.20. Now remember, in the women's race, Kaylee Humphreys and Alana Myers-Taylor are each piloting a two-woman bobsled. Humphreys' sled is in fifth place, and Myers-Taylor's sled is in third place after the first two runs. Now, two weeks ago, Myers-Taylor was supposed to be a flag bearer at the opening ceremony, but instead we saw her doing this, working out in her hotel room, isolating after she tested positive for COVID-19. But she just got some news that should brighten her day. Our entire Olympic team says congratulations. You're going to be our flag bearer for closing ceremonies. <laughs> I know. I know we've been through a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> so get ready. Get your shoes ready. Get your boots ready. 
and get ready for this race too. Yeah. We have, we have oh, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That is unbelievable. <laughs> And speaking of the closing ceremony, here's how to watch it. It happens Sunday at four in the morning here on the West Coast, and you can watch it live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. Or you can wait and see it on TV. It's at five o'clock p.m. and again at 8 p.m. on NBC. But there are lots more medals to be given out before then, and if you wanna see them all, check out NBCBayArea.com slash how to watch as we head into the final weekend of action and glory at the Winter Olympics.